の倍付けだなこりゃ。地位がとんでもねえ。Fighter pilots are tough, and their physical bodies can take a lot of stress before they give in. They are they're very very strong humans. The G here stands for gravity. When a jet accelerates forward, your body wants to stay where it is because of inertia. When a fighter jet turns, climbs, or dives rapidly, the force increases, pushing the pilot further into their seat and the blood away from their brains. In a sharp turn, the jet is changing direction rapidly. Meanwhile, the pilot's body wants to continue in a straight line and move with the inertia. The tighter and faster the turn, the more force is needed to keep the jet moving in a curve. This force is called centripetal force, and it pushes the pilot down into their seat or Sideways into the cockpit walls. When a jet pulls up suddenly, the pilot's body is flung downward into the seat, experiencing extreme G forces. This is like when a roller coaster dives and then climbs, but much stronger. Fighter pilots can experience up to 9 G, meaning their body feels like it's nine times heavier than normal. At 3 to 4 G, your arms feel heavy and it's harder to move. 5 to 6 G, your vision tunnels as blood struggles to reach your brain. 8 to 9 G, without Proper training or a specialized suit, you can black out due to lack of oxygen to the brain. This is known as G lock, G force induced loss of consciousness. An F-16 turning at 1,200 miles per hour, 1.5 times the speed of sound in a tight curve, can pull up to nine Gs. A 180-pound pilot would feel as if they weighed 1,620 pounds. It is really cool how they're explaining the dogfight military tactics. I didn't know about this. I'm learning a lot during this episode as well.